Now this can be done orally and no written calculation is required to do such calculations. So I am taking the example here of say the number 56. Now suppose you need to find the square of 56. Now I am writing all the steps in the first question so that you can understand the method and later on you can do it orally as per your convenience. Now see when we have to square such numbers starting with 5. Now what is the square of 5? It is 25. So just write 25. Add this digit 6 to this. Whatever you get just put two zeros that is multiply it by 100 and add the square of this number to this number. See I have written all the steps it might look complicated but believe it or not with a practice of 3 minutes you will be able to do all the squares of 51 to 59 orally. So 25 plus 6 is 31 and 31 into 100 is 3100 plus 36 you get the answer as 3136 which is the square of 56. Let us take one more example to understand this method in a better way. Say we have 58 square. So now I will not write all the steps now. 5 square is 25 and 8. 25 plus 8 is 33 and followed by two zeros and add 8 square is 64. So your answer is 3364. So no traditional multiplications. You get the answer in a matter of just 2 seconds only. Now more examples of such kind. Say we have 59 square. So 25, 5 square is 25. 25 plus 9 is 34, now 3400 and what is 9 square? It is 81, so 3481 is the square of 59. One more example, we can do it. Remember this square which we are adding here, this number should have two digits. So if the square of this number has a single digit then you should write a 0 prior to that. I will take one example for that, say 53. So 25, 5 square is 25, plus 3 is 28, so 2800 and 3 square is 9. So now this is a single digit, so obviously there is a 0, so 0 will come automatically, so 2809 is the square of 53. Likewise, if you want to take one more example, say we can have 55. Now we can do it in a single step. Say 55 square. 5 square is 25. 25 plus 5 is 30. So 30 followed by 2 zeros, 3000. And 5 square is 25. So 3025 is the square of 53. So then say I have 512 square. Now what you do in such cases is to write the factor 250. This factor 250 is fixed for every number whose square is to be found out from 501 to 599. You need to write 250 and now this 250 you have to add leave this 5 what else the number is 12 here apart from the 5 so add 12 multiply it by 1000 so this is the step which I am writing, uh, complete step so that you can understand the method later on we can surely skip some steps and add the square of this number which I have underlined here to the product. So see this is 250 plus 12, 262 and now we have 3 zeros and now we have to add 12 square that is 144. So your answer for the square of 512 is 262. 144. Isn't that amazing? Just one step to remember and we can find out the square of all such numbers orally within 3 4, four seconds of time. Now let us take one more example of such kind. Say we have 525 square. Now see 250 plus now we have the number 25 apart from the first 5 multiply by 1000 and add 25 square to the result so you get 275 followed by three zeros 
and 625 to add to it. So the answer you get is 275 followed by 625. 2,75,625 is the square of 525. So you can take more such examples. Say we have 529 square. So I will reduce the number of steps now. 250 plus 29. So 250 plus 29, 279 followed by three zeros. And now you need to know the square of 29, it is 841. So the answer for this question is 279841, which is the exact thing, which is the exact answer you will get even by traditional method or by calculator, you can check your answers. Now, you can take some larger numbers also. Obviously, when you take larger numbers, then the number which is in the unit and tens place, the square of that number should be known to you. If the number if that square is known then things are simpler you can find the square of those numbers by traditional multiplication also like suppose you have 81 so what is the square of 81 it is 1 into 1 1 8 plus 8 16 6 1 carry 64 65 so 6 5 6 1 is the square of 81 so what do uh, we do for finding 581 square it is 250 plus 81 now this is the number here 81 multiply it by 1000 and add the square of 81 this is 6561 so if you add this 250 plus 80 is 330 so 331 triple zero and add 6561 now your answer for the square of 581 is 33 now 1000 plus this is 7561 this is the final answer for your square so friends methods like this increase your mathematical ability they create interest in the subject of mathematics and if the children at junior level are taught these methods obviously they will feel pleasure in solving mathematical equations and obviously guaranteeing success in later life so learn these methods share and subscribe the videos if you like it